do you recognize this school behind me? If you don't, I'm sure you know somebody who does. This is Banks High School in Roebuck, Alabama, a neighborhood of Birmingham. And then for a time, this was one of the most popular high schools maybe in all of the Southeast, especially Alabama. It was known for much athletic success, especially on the football field, producing players that went on to play at the University of Alabama and even in the NFL. But this high school closed in the 1980s and was open only as a middle school until the 2000s. And I wrote about it in Valley Road, Uplifting Stories from Down South. And we're gonna read just a snippet of that chapter. Since then, it has just sat. Bricks have fallen, windows have been shattered, weeds continue to grow. I couldn't imagine having gone to school there, having so much pride in a building full of peers and encouraging teachers and seeing it now. Everyone I speak to says the word to describe it is sad. But stories don't have to end that way. You can demolish a building, but you can't destroy a mind. You can't recreate an era, but you can provide the values from that era to this generation, which so desperately needs them. It started with waking up in the middle of the night. The man's father was a legend at this high school, the coach who led the football program to back-to-back -back state championships before taking a job at a big-time college program. His son never attended the school, having to move in the eighth grade because of his dad's rise in coaching, but he knew of the success. He hung out with those players, lived in the gym, and dreamed of playing there for his dad. In 2013, when that man woke up in the middle of the night, he felt God placing it on his heart. The school had been closed down for nearly a decade, but the closest private school was also shutting down. God was telling him to start a school in that area, which had become a poorer area since the glory days of the 70s. He thought the feeling would go away, but it didn't. Had to do it, he says. His vision was to use the high school's name for a private Christian academy to serve the neighborhood and surrounding areas. Embrace the old name, but create a new tradition, he told me. For the rest of this story and more stories like it, you can get Valley Road uplifting stories from down south for $10 on Amazon.com.